Hello dear students, welcome to EC Academy Manufacture. In this class we will be seeing method of analysis of feedback amplifiers. This topic is from the feedback amplifier unit, the subject name is ECA. So as you know there are 4 feedback amplifiers, voltage series feedback amplifier, voltage shunt feedback amplifier, current series feedback amplifier and current shunt feedback amplifier. The feedback amplifiers can be analyzed in two ways, one is using topology method which we have already covered in our previous classes. In this class we will be discussing the steps or the method to be followed for analysis of feedback amplifier when it is in terms of active device like a BJT. So here are the few um, 7 steps to analyze the feedback amplifier. So as you remember the block diagram of the feedback amplifier, this is the basic amplifier of gain A. At the input side of the amplifier we are having a mixer network, at the output of the amplifier is a sampling network and a feedback network of ratio beta is connected across the amplifier A, a signal source and a load. So you need to remember mixer is at the input side and sampler is at the output side of the amplifier A. Okay. So in our previous class we have already seen the analysis of voltage, series feedback and so on the topology method in this way we have done the analysis, voltage series, current series, current shunt and voltage shunt. What we have derived in this, what is a gain? We have derived what is AIF, RIF and ROF. Similarly, when we are using this transistor model for the feedback amplifier, if suppose this is a circuit given to you, you need to analyze this feedback amplifier. So what are the steps to be followed for uh, the active devices used uh, in the feedback amplifier? So how to analyze the feedback amplifier using this transistor or FET model? Okay. So, if you have any queries regarding topology method analysis, you can refer the previous uh, classes in that it is been explained in detail. So, here also for this type of circuits also where active devices are involved in the feedback amplifiers, the main aim of the analysis is to find gain, input resistance and output resistance. That is we need to find what is AF, gain with feedback, RIF, input resistance with feedback and ROF, output resistance with feedback. So these are the three basic parameters need to be analyzed. So what are the steps to be followed now? So first step is, so the goal is clear by doing analysis we need to find these three parameters AF gain with feedback, RIF input resistance with feedback, ROF is the output resistance with feedback. To analyze the feedback amplifier it is necessary to go through this following steps coming to the first step, first identify the topology. By looking at the circuit diagram you need to identify the topology to know what is a topology, what you have to know, what is a sampling and what is a mixing. So this is the first step, identify the topology. To identify the topology, you know, need to know to find the type of sampling network. Where is sampling network? It is at the input side, at the output side, sampling is at the output side. And the second step is to find the type of mixing network at the input side. So step 1 is to identify the topology. While identifying the topology, we have to find what is the type of sampling network. Sampling network is at the output side. And what is the type of mixing network? Mixing network is at the input side. So how to find what type of sampling network it is? So for that you know there are two types of sampling voltage sampling and current sampling at the output side they are done. 
So, how to test whether it is voltage sampling or current sampling? So, first step is to find voltage sampling by shorting the output. By shorting the output means by making the output voltage 0. By making the output voltage 0, if the feedback signal Z becomes 0, then we can say it is voltage sampling. If V naught is 0, the output voltage is 0 and the feedback signal also becomes 0, then it is voltage sampling. For current sampling, sampling is done where? At the output side. So, we need to open or close the output. So, now the second step. Next step, by opening the output loop, output loop is open. Open circuit means there is no current. So, I naught is 0 that is I naught is 0. If the feedback signal becomes 0, then we can say it is current sampling. So, by open circuiting the output loop that is by making I naught 0, if the feedback signal becomes 0, then it is current sampling. Okay? So, sampling is done at the output side. So, we need two steps voltage sampling make V naught 0. If X f is 0, voltage sampling. If it is current sampling, need check make current 0 open circuit the output side. If X f becomes 0, then it is current sampling. So, we came to know whether it is voltage sampling or current sampling. Now, we need to know whether it is series mixing or shunt mixing. So, how can we check if the feedback signal is subtracted from the externally applied signal as a voltage? That is, if the feedback signal is subtracted from the externally applied signal as voltage, then in the input loop we say it is series mixing. Okay. Now, if the feedback signal is subtracted from the externally applied signal as a current, that is if the feedback signal is subtracted from the applied signal as current, as current. So, what happens? It is shunt mixing. Series mixing means voltage will be obtained and for shunt mixing current. So, once we know mixing and sampling, we can know what is the type of topology. Okay. To our first step is to identify the topology. To identify the topology, there are two steps. One is to find what is the type of sampling and other step is to find the type of mixing. Sampling is done at the output side and mixing is done at the input side. So, once we know the step one, the type of topology, we can tie, decide what type of feedback amplifier it is. So, it is written, thus by determining the type of sampling network and mixing network, type of feedback amplifier is determined. Okay. For example, if the amplifier uses voltage sampling, how can you tell voltage sampling? By making output voltage 0, if the feedback signal becomes 0, then it is voltage sampling and it is series mixing. Series mixing means if the feedback signal when subtracted by the source signal leads to voltage, then it is series mixing. So, voltage sampling and series mixing is there. Then what is the name of that feedback amplifier? Voltage series. So, the first word tells about the sampling and the second word tells about the mixing. So, in this way by knowing the sampling and mixing, we can write its name voltage series feedback amplifier. So, you came to know by looking at the given circuit diagram, you could understand what type of feedback amplifier it is. So, for example, you have found that it is a voltage series feedback amplifier. Okay. It can be voltage shunt, current shunt or voltage shunt like that four feedback amplifiers are there. No? Okay. So, the first step is what? To identify the topology. Second step now. 
Now, after finding the topology, first step for the input circuit. Now, you need to come to the input circuit of the amplifier diagram. For the input circuit for voltage sampling, make V naught 0. V naught 0, how can you make? By short circuiting the output. For current sampling, make I naught 0. I naught can be 0 by open circuiting the output loop. So, for the input circuit, what arrangements you have done? You have to go to output side. Okay. For the input circuit, you know to you need to go to the output part of the circuit and do these two arrangements. If it is voltage sampling, make the V naught 0. If it is current sampling, make I naught 0. Now, third step, step 3 for the output circuit. Okay. For the output circuit, you need to now come to the input side. You have to do arrangements at the input side. For series mixing, make I I 0. I I 0 can be made by opening the input loop. For shunt mixing, make V I 0. V I means voltage is 0. Voltage is 0 means short circuiting the input. Okay. So, for the in output circuit, we need to go to the input side and do these two arrangements. If it is a series mixing, you need to make I I 0. If it is shunt mixing, then you need to make V I 0. Either of one, you have to do the arrangement. If uh, So, for the first step, first step is to find the topology. Second step for the input circuit. For the input circuit, you need to go to the output side and do the arrangements. For the um, third step is for the output circuit you need to go to the input side. So, what happens now after performing step 2 and step 3? Ensure that feedback is reduced to 0. Now, what happened after doing all this arrangements identifying the topology and going to the input circuit and output circuit and doing all these arrangements you will get a you will come to a circuit without amplifier without feedback ensures that feedback is reduced to 0 without altering the loading on the basic amplifier. Okay, so, we have obtained now amplifier without feedback. Now, what we need to do? We need to replace the active device. The active device in the amplifier can either be BJT or FET. So, we need to replace that active device. If transistor is used, we need to replace it by the H parameter model at low frequency. So, replace this active device by the H parameter model BGT. Hai na? Next step, step 5, find the open loop gain. So, after finding the topology, going to the input circuit, going to the output circuit and replacing the uh, BJT by its H model of low frequency. Now, we have to find open loop gain because obtained circuit is without feedback now. So, we need to find the open loop gain that symbol is A. Okay. Now, step 6 indicate XF, XF means feedback signal and X naught output, output signal on the circuit and evaluate beta. What is beta? Beta is equal to XF by X naught. So, once you know A and beta, then we can find D sensitivity D. This is a seventh step. So, D is equal to 1 plus A beta. So, once you know A beta D, A beta D, then you can find A F, R I F and R O F. So, in this way you can evaluate these three parameters of feedback amplifier. Okay. So, you need to follow these seven steps. What is the first step? Identify the topology. Second step for the input circuit, then for the output circuit, then replace the active device by its H parameter model of the low frequency. Now, find open loop gain A. Next, 
find beta, then D, then find AF, RIF and ROF. I hope these uh, steps are clear. In the next class, we will be taking one of the feedback amplifier, first one voltage series feedback amplifier and then do its analysis. For topology method, you can refer the previous classes. Thank you. Good luck students.